Hi guys, hope you're well. Today I'm going to be talking about using a beauty sponge to apply your foundation. Now I know there's, everyone's been talking about beauty blenders and how they are and everything like that but I thought I'll try out something that's actually in the drugstores at the moment. So I picked up these ones from um, Model Zone and this is one that's actually dry and this one's one that's wet and as you can see I've been using this one a fair bit. Um, when they do actually become wet, um, they do expand slightly, but I heard that the beauty blenders expand quite a bit. And all you need to do is actually put it under warm water, just squeeze out the excess a few times, and then just give it a last squeeze, and then that's ready to use. And all you need to do is make sure you put your moisturiser on, any correctors or anything like that, and then start off with your foundation and your blending with your beauty sponge. Um, these are great because um, they actually are shaped quite narrow at the top and they're quite wide at the bottom and they've got a beautiful nice smooth shape on the sides so you, they're actually multifunctional as in you can use on different parts of your face so the narrow part you can use in between like your eyes your nostrils and getting in the little areas that you need to uh, the wider part is great because you can actually bounce it off your skin and um, create that whole blended flawless sort of look and also with the sides you can actually do the rolling motion which is great for actually getting over larger areas and doing the blending so it saves you that little bit more time um, Personally, I've been the type of person who's used uh, brushes over sponges, but I just thought I'd give it a try. So before I purchase a beauty blender, I thought I'd try one of these and just to see how it works. So um, I hope you like my tutorial and we'll see how it goes. Really. Okay, so I've started off with moisturising my face now. I've got to work really, really quick because of um, the product that I've used, which is the Clarins uh, Beauty Flash Balm. And what I'm going to do is get um, a cream pigment called Image from um, Illamasqua. It's kind of like a peachy, orangey tone to cover up all my blemishes and dark circles. This works amazingly to just correct them so I'm not kind of using heaps of concealer or anything like that so I'm just going to cover up my dark circles so uh, I look a bit more lively as you can see I'm just blending it in with my fingers I find your fingers are the best tool to use when it comes to blending over any cream pigments or concealers as well so that's that I'm not fully blending it in because the whole point of it is that it covers and um, stays in the area that I want it to stay so that's that now with my damp sponge I'm going to um, blend my foundation on. So what I'm going to do is just you get my foundation, which is the Illamasqua Skin Base in um, the number 10. Just get some on my finger like so and just dab it onto certain areas. Now I always work on the areas that actually need to be covered first and whatever's remaining on my finger that's when I put it on the areas that I need it the least so as you can see I've hardly got any on my forehead but I'll just put a bit extra on there I've just dabbed it on all over so I know I've got to, gonna have enough product to go around and now with my sponge I'm going to literally just bounce it off my face and just do this this sort of a dabbing motion And when I'm trying to get into those little areas, such as um, in the corners of my eyes, I can use the pointed area and just dab it in like that. Oh, I've got some on my finger. And behind the nose. 
and if you want to you can use the edges to actually roll over this way you get a really really nice flawless finish and as you can see you've got to kind of work pretty quick just to make sure you get that finish I mean some days I'm just like oh, I, can't, I can't bother to do this dabbing thing so just start rolling not that I recommend it all the time but the rolling motion does actually help too and there you have it a face completely flawless with foundation just using a beauty sponge so I hope that helped you if you did enjoy the video and if there's anything else you'd like to see please do rate the video give me a thumbs up um, leave your comments below and please do subscribe to my channel and I'll hopefully see you next time. Take care. Bye.